Okay, I'm going to show you how to record paper patterns into IQ's memory. Um, now, when you're doing paper patterns, all you have to record is just one repeat of the pattern. Here are some patterns I've drawn up uh, for quilts um, over the years. Uh, so this one, the repeat would be from here to here. So that's all I would need to record. For this one, the one repeat would be either here to here or here to here. And that would be all I would need to record uh, for the, to get that pattern. Uh, the corners, I would have to um, do something different for the corners. But. Now this pattern, uh, the swirls go this way and then they go this way, but actually this is only a repeat of that one, it's just flipped the other way. So for the minimum amount to record, I would record from here, the pattern goes around and around, to here. Uh, and then I could just flip it to create this, uh, this, this pattern. Um, this one again, it's just a repeat, so I could record from here to here. Just this, this is one repeat. Or, or alternatively, I could record from here this way around to here, and that's the one repeat. Um, this one too is another one that flip flops, so the atch, this is actually two repeats. So I would just start recording here and end recording probably about here. And then I could flip it for the, for the other repeat. And last of all, here's a fish border. This one is pretty obvious where the repeat comes, it's from the, the fish nose to the fish nose. So this is the one that I'll record in uh, to IQ. So I'm just laying the paper pattern on top of, this is just a practice piece, uh, on top of something at the front of my uh, machine. Um, I'll show you a different way to record these, the way you, to record them from around the back as well, but for now we'll do it at the front. What I'm going to do is put my needle kind of low, close to the close to the paper because I'm using that as my stylus. That's what's going to follow the line um, uh, to, to, so that I can record the pattern. Now up here I'm going to go to, this is the main menu, I'm touching pattern designer, the motors are disconnecting and now I'm going to touch record pattern. Now when I've moved my machine to the starting point which is here at the fish's nose Put it up here a bit, that's a bit better. As soon as I touch start, IQ will start re remembering all the movements I make with the machine. Now I'm going to use one hand so it might be a bit wobbly. I usually use two hands like this, but so you can see I'm just going to use one hand. So I'm ready to start, I'm going to touch start. So here I go. And there I am at the end, and there's my fish up on the screen. Now, uh, if I move the machine right now, it's still carrying on recording. Oops, that's a mistake. I didn't want that. I should have remembered to press stop at the end. I'm going to press stop now. So now when I move the machine, uh, it's not going to record what I move. Now, I like that fish, and I don't want to do it over again, so I need to get rid of that little mistake I made at the end there. So I'll show you how to do that. First of all, I have to save this pattern engaging the motors. Okay, save a pattern from the quilt. I'm going to touch it. Continue. I'm going to give this a name. Let's give it um, fish. Fishy. Enter. It's going to go into my catalogue. Patterns by Helen. Now I want to get rid of that mistake I made at the end, so I'm going to add edit pattern. I'm going to split the pattern so that I can cut off that end part. So I need my 
my stylus. Okay, I found my stylus, so I'm going to, um, in order to cut that off, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, just touch this area of the pattern. And now I'm going to run my stylus along that line. Um, I'm going to cut it off right there. You can see this side of the line is red, this side of the line is green. IQ is going to make a new start and stop point right there where that X is when I touch split. And there it is, finished. And now I can delete that pattern. Continue. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. And it's gone. And so there's my um, my fish with the little swirly connector. Now, in order to make to ensure that this will connect up properly into a uh, continuous pantograph or border pattern, I need to make sure that the start point and the end point were on the same horizontal line. So I'm going to modify pattern touch this one, continue, and now my my grids are already on, the grids are off now, turning the grid on, here's the grid, this will help me get it lined up, and you can see that the start point is a bit below this grid line, but the end point is just about on it, so what I'm going to do is uh, move the move the fish up a little bit so that the S is on the grid line, and I'm going to zoom right in Make sure it yes is on the grid line. Move it up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to um, zoom full so I can see the whole fish again. So the S is on this grid line. I want the E to be on this grid line too. So what I'm going to do is just stretch. Touch the S to anchor that point, and then I'm going to grab the E point and just drag it down to that to that grid line. Let me zoom in to make sure it's right on there. Oh, I need to move it down just a little bit more. There. Finished. And now I know the, the S and the E are on the same horizontal line so now I can save the fish and then when I want to pull it up to make a border pattern or a pantograph it will join up correctly. There won't be any gaps or any little jogs between the patterns, it'll join up correctly. So, finished, uh, save, save the pattern from the quilt, continue. Fishy, I'm going to keep the name that I saved it at before, I'm not going to change the name, enter. I'm going to enter it into my catalogue, Patterns by Helen. Now, it knows that I already saved that fishy pattern with the, with the funny end and before I adjusted it. So it says, this file already exists, do you want to overwrite it? And I do, I don't want to keep that previous one, so I'm going to just overwrite it, and now that fish is saved. <coughs> and um, So that's uh, where you can trace in paper patterns from the front of your uh, machine.